Let's integrate the description field into the view. In PyCharm Professional Edition, I will navigate to the view using its symbol rather than its file name. We want to filter out questions that don't have a description. I'll start adding the exclude method, but I can't quite remember what it is about. So I look at the inline help about the method and the class. If I need more, I can open the website docs for this class. I can then extend the filtering to exclude questions with an empty description. This looks good, but when I run my tests, I'm getting failures. The test questions don't have a description. I navigate to the Create Question Helper and add a sample description to all the questions used in my tests. When I rerun the tests, everything passes. Next, I want to show a count of missing descriptions. Using Django's get under context under data method, it will first collect the existing context. Then we'll make a key for the new variable and get that value from the model method we added previously. We finish by returning this context which is then available in the polls slash index.html template. Let's go to the tests. We'll rerun the view tests to make sure nothing is broken. Then in the first test, I will clone a line and add an extra assertion to see if the new context data is available in the view with the correct value. With this assertion in place, I rerun the tests, which pass. This unit of work is done, so I commit my changes with a meaningful commit message. I notice that results view isn't the best name for the class. I will use refactor rename to change that class name to questions results view. PyCharm looks for matching symbols and fixes them. The VCS tool tells me that URLs.py changed with my URL configuration using the new view name. I should change the template name to match this change. PyCharm helps autocomplete Django strings against paths. I could change the string manually, but I would get a warning about an invalid path. Instead, I'll again use refactor rename to change the template name. PyCharm helpfully finds the matching file name, renames it, and fixes my VCS entry. As usual, we commit our changes with a good commit message. We then rerun our tests to ensure nothing is broken. Next step, change the template. 